Hey, Composer Gloves here. This is the 16th video in the FM8 from the ground up tutorial series. And today we're going to look at this key scaling option in FM8. It, that's what the SC is for. And you'll see that we have all our envelopes for our operators represented here and our pitch envelope unique option, as well as our X and Z for our filters and our noise. So let's uh, kind of discuss real quick. We see we have an envelope here, but this does not look like the envelopes before. And we also see that we have our C negative two to C zero all the way up to C eight. Well, what is the deal with all this extra stuff? Or actually, I guess there's substantially less stuff on this option, but it is basically keyboard mapping for your keyboard. What is that? Well, if you were to, this maps the velocity across your keyboard. So right now, let's hit a note. We're hitting a G, I don't know what that is, like a G4, somewhere around there. So if we were to take this graph, which behaves, you, you move around the graph the same as you do with any other graph or envelope, and you were to make that area lower, let's find out where that note is. Oh, but we're messing with opera uh, on A. We want to go to F. So open up F, just click to do that. And it should be somewhere in here. All of a sudden you notice it's way quiet. And as we move around, we cover it. So it was somewhere in that range. And what just happened? Well, we're mapping the velocity across the keyboard. So you can do something like this. And now as you hit values that are low, there'll be much softer and as you go up, they'll get louder. And you could change the slope of this line, manipulating the slope and the level of the breakpoint you're working on by selecting the breakpoint and simply changing the level. If we were to add another breakpoint, make it a little more clear, as you can see here. And you can also see uh, what note the breakpoint is on by this number here. So if you move it over, it's note two. If you move it over, note 101. Uh, I believe C4 is 64, though I'm not completely sure. As far as resetting this graph, there really is no easy way of going about doing this, except for the fact that you know it's a straight line and you could just delete everything and then it will react as you would expect it to across the keyboard. It's still velocity sensitive. This does not take away from velocity sensitive. It sort of just scales it down. So it's a limit to how loud it can go as a ratio. You see Z already has this applied to it. And you have this one to one ratio option, which does not appear anywhere else. So if you were to hit one to one, it resets. And this has to do with the way your filter has been set up. And it allows Z to kind of do its job. So don't worry too much about uh, Z, but if you did want to change the way the mapping works, just know that your filters will start acting sort of funny. You'll get different responses out of your filters if you mess with this envelope, as you should expect. And the last one here is pitch. So let's hit C. This will change the pitch for all Cs. And it's just fine tuning that pitch. You can, again, if you want to know how to save your own tuning presets, Go watch my effects part one and I explain how these templates and saving works. But you could select tunings that have already been made because there's a whole theory behind tuning. If you've never looked into it, look at, uh, see we have equal tempered here, but you have all these other options. Go check it out. Go look up equal tempered and you'll kind of see what's going on here. But you could change them. And there are reasons you'd want to use this. Like this, I was messing around with it for quite a while and found it very cool. All right, you have this octave tuning right here. And what it does is it changes the ratio of cents between the octave. And I'll just, I'll just show you. Notes will contract and be closer together than normal and expand out and be farther than normal uh, based on how you set this octave value. So you can mess with that a lot. Honestly, I don't use this too much, but you could get some, I plan to kind of look at it more as I go, because there are some useful things. And if you have some sort of unusual tuning like this for something specific, 
then this could be a really cool option to mess with changing the way the ratios are affected. And that is the key scaling option in FM8. If you enjoy these tutorials, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, drop a comment below about your favorite tuning method if you have one. I know there's pretty unusual favorites to have. And check out my music on composedgloves.com and have a blessed day. Oh, 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 oh,